afternoon, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 2 p.m. update, and currently we have a bit of a mixed bag out here. You've got the Dow trading up 92 points, and the S&P up 4, while the NASDAQ 100 is off 22. The Russell's up 2. The Semi's up 5. The Tranny's up 71. Gold trading out at 1805. That's down $5. Uh, you've got silver off 25 pennies, trading at 2286. Light sweet crude up 51 cents. She's trading out at 7650. If we go take a look at the indices, charts out here. Give me a moment. We'll get over to that screen. We'll begin by taking a look at the Dow. That's in the upper left-hand corner. It's the Dow today. We're to close about 36, 566. We're 36, 491. 36, 566. It would negate its TD9 count top. That TD9 count top was in place uh, since the trading day of November the 8th. So that's a key level to be watching. If we do that, that would suggest to me that the rally will continue. Rally will continue on through at least the middle of next week. If I look at the S&P 500, well, on Monday, it decided to negate its Rhodes Mintum indicator top, its TD9 count tops. We have no kind of a topping signal as we speak just yet. Uh, therefore, the S&P is suggesting it wants to move higher. The NDX 100 still has its Rhodes Mintum indicator top. That was from November 22nd. Price would need to close above that high. That high is 16,764.86 to negate that pattern. We have a topping signal still in the Dow, still in the NDX 100, most certainly still in the Russell. Of course, the Russell most recently produced a Rhodes Mintum indicator bottom as well as wave number seven, letter G. That's courtesy of Basil Chapman and the Chapman wave. If the Russell 2000 can't close above 2276.70, that would suggest a move up to the 2404 level. Don't have that just yet. The semis out here yesterday, nice move on Monday, yesterday generating a dark cloud cover candle. That was a confirmation yesterday of a Rhodes Mintum indicator top. The price would have to get below its oscillator and change line, currently printing at 3967.62. That's a level that price would need to close below in the semis to suggest that there's going to be a further move lower. The transports out here. I don't really have a great uh, signal on it other than it looks like it wants to move higher, but uh, I'm sort of tepid about that call. Spot Volatinix looks like it wants to pull back lower. 1638 is where it most recently broke out from. If, in fact, the Spot Volatinix moves lower, then the S&P 500 should continue to move higher. And the XAU, we have to be cautious about that, those of us that are in the mining equities, because today looks like it's going to confirm a TD9 count top. And that would suggest the XAU might pull back to 127.80. Folks, thanks so much for being here. A wonderful Wednesday. I'll see you tomorrow on Terrific Thursday at 1 o'clock sharp. And have a great and safe day. Take care, folks.